Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a different type of video. Today, we're going to be going through the top 5 Nintendo Switch games released in 2019. That means any Nintendo Switch game that was released in 2019 can be on this list. And this isn't a top 5. Like, it's not like number 1 is better than number 5. They're all the same, and they're all really good games. And this is my opinion, so if you guys don't like this, uh, these opinions, go ahead and comment below what your top 5 2019 Nintendo Switch games would be. And this is a video to represent the end of the year, the end of the decade. So yeah, let's get into it. The first game I'm going to put on here is Link's Awakening. Now... I have uh, Link's Awakening hat right here, so pretty obvious it's going to be on this list. Now, Link's Awakening is a really awesome game. It's the recreation of the Link's Awakening from on the uh, Game Boy. I was about to say GameCube. <laughs> I'm stupid. Yeah, but it was originally released on the Game Boy, and Nintendo, like, remade it. Had made it have better graphics, everything. It's basically the same, but... It's really so good. It's so good. It's basically Link washes up on an island, and you have to go through a bunch of dungeons, and you find out it's just a dream. Coming in at our number four spot, even though it's not better than Link's Awakening, they're all basically the same. We're going to be doing Pokemon Shield and Pokemon Sword. Now, these are two really good games. Now, they're not the best Pokemon in the franchise, the Pokemon games in the franchise. That's pretty obvious, but they're pretty fun, and they released, like, a, f a month ago. They are really, v like, well-polished games, good quality. Kind of looks the same as Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, but this one... I, I don't really know, I don't really, I didn't, I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan, I didn't play Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, but the new, it's, it's pretty good, but sometimes it can kind of get boring, like, after your first playthrough, but it's still a really, really fun games, and if you have $60, definitely get Link's Awakening, Pokemon Shield or Pokemon Sword. Uh, I would recommend Shield, but we have Sword. But yeah, um, just amazing games. Now coming in at number three, you guys might not like this pick, but I'm including four games. Now, I'm a big Five Nights at Freddy's fan, and I like got the first game like a week after it came out. So yeah, it's gonna be all four games in one now the gameplay you're watching is only the first game i only got the first game on the switch but i have the second third and sister location and fnaf 4 I'm, i only like it for the lore i don't really like the gameplay but basically it's like a survival horror game and they're only eight dollars so like if you're looking for some scary and yet fun moments definitely get at least one of the games if you have like 24 dollars, you can get three of them if you have like 32 dollars, you can get all four of them which is really cheap that's like a little more than half of a usual like nintendo release game now i think uh my favorite is five nights at freddy's 2 it's just I like it. I don't. <laughs> it's a really good game. I like that one the best. But definitely, you might like. You might not be into horror games like me, but definitely play it. Like if you have eight dollars, at least get one of the games. Especially if you're a horror game fan. If you like horror games, go ahead, play it. If you don't like horror games probably get the third one it's the least scariest there's jump scares but they don't kill you and yeah and then like the one jump scare that actually does kill you it's like it's kind of
kind of it's like he goes in kind of slowly the jump scare the jump scare is kind of slow so yeah if you are a big horror game fan definitely get them if you're not a big horror game fan just get like the third one if you want to get one of them yeah let's move on to number two spot even though it's not ranked now at number two we have overwatch now if you're not a big shooter fan then you might not like it but it's a pretty good game there's a bunch of characters for everyone if you want to just like if you're good at aim you can choose like the fighter people if you want to like heal your allies the, and you're not the best at aim then you can be like healers if you just want to try to survive you can be tanks it's like a rock paper scissors game like every character has a really good strength and a weakness a very bad weakness that will definitely end in a death unless you're gifted at the game unlike me now overwatch is really fun and although it only runs around like 30 frames because handheld mode and everything it's hd it's really nice and if you're looking for like games to improve your aim and shooters definitely play overwatch like i highly recommend playing overwatch and yeah move on to number one spot now this might not be a surprise to any of you guys. Number one is Super Mario Maker 2. Now, it's pretty obvious, like, see, the first game basically literally has infinite possibilities. The second game, like, adds so much new stuff, like, more, more themes and also extra options for the old stuff, for lots of the old stuff. Now, this is just an amazing game. You do have to be really creative, and even if you're not into making levels, you can always play really interesting levels. The levels are so fun. Like, although there's levels, those bad levels that no one likes there's definitely a lot of good levels you can check out the top levels those are always really good levels and they can give you ideas not only that but there is a story mode which can also give you inspiration for creative ideas like if you're like me and you barely have any ideas for levels unless there's a new update that just came out you can literally just like Go into story mode, play a few levels, get some ideas, and then just create those ideas. Make a, a short course showing off the idea and inspiring more people. Super Mario Maker 2 is one of the best Nintendo Switch games for 2019. It's probably going to be one of the best Switch games for a very long time. Until Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more content like this. More top 5s except this wasn't top video. This is just like uh, 5 games released on Nintendo Switch. You definitely need to get. Definitely get. If you do not have one of these games. I don't know what to tell you, just, wow. But, go ahead and try to get one of these games, please. They are amazing. Make sure to leave a like if you want me to do top, or not top, but just like five best Nintendo Switch games of all time, because I can do that to start off the new decade. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,